an impressive and mysterious straight line that runs from Ireland to Israel, unites seven monasteries and shrines related to the Archangel Michael. Is it mere coincidence? Was it intentional? The seven shrines stand at great distances from each other, but are perfectly aligned and astonishing. The sacred line of Saint Michael the Archangel symbolizes, according to tradition, the sword blow that the Archangel inflicted upon the devil to send him to hell after the battle in the heavens between faithful angels and rebellious angels who, led by Lucifer, they had turned against God. Be that as it may, the layout of all these shrines along a straight line is surprising. Would it be a warning from the Archangel that, in keeping with the laws of God, the faithful always walk in righteousness? The sacred line, moreover, is perfectly aligned with the setting sun on the day of the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere. As if that were not enough, the three most important sanctuaries of the mysterious line are at the same distance from one another, the beautiful and famous Abbey of Mont Saint Michel, on the border between the French regions of Normandy and Brittany, the Sacre de Saint Michel, in the Italian valley of Susa, Piedmont, and the sanctuary of Monte Sant'Angelo, in the also Italian Mount Gargano situated in the region of Apulia. Get to know all seven sanctuaries of the sacred line. 1. Skelling Michael The outline of the sacred line begins in Ireland on a deserted island where Archangel Michael would have appeared to Saint Patrick to help him free the country from the devil's attacks. It is in this island that the first monastery rises, the one of Skellig Michael or Silag Mitchell, in Gaelic language, Rock of Miguel. 2. St. Michael's Mount Traveling south, the line passes St. Michael's Mount in England, it is an islet of Cornwall which, at low tide, joins the mainland. In this place, San Miguel would have spoken with a group of fishermen. 3. Mont St. Michel The sacred line then proceeds to France, crossing another famous island that also joins the low tide land, the spectacular Mont St. Michel another site of the Archangel's appearance. The beauty and historical and artistic richness of this sanctuary and its bay on the Normandy coast make it one of the most visited places in the whole of France, and guaranteed its proclamation as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. Mont Saint-Michel was already surrounded by strong mysticism since the High Middle Ages. More than 1,300 years ago, in 709, the Archangel appeared, according to tradition, to the Bishop of Avranches, St. Aubert, requesting the construction of the sanctuary. Works began shortly, but the Benedictine Abbey was only to be ready in the 10th century. 4. Sacre de Saint Michel About 1,000 kilometers away, in the Piedmontese Valley of Susa, stands the fourth sanctuary, the Sacre de Saint Michel, pronounced Michele in Italian. Its construction began around the year 1000 and, over the centuries, new structures have been added. This is the case of the inn built by the Benedictine monks, since the holy place was on the route of the pilgrims of the Via Francigena, ancient road that went from France to Rome. 5. Santuario du Monte Sant'Angelo More than 1000 kilometers straight and one reaches the also Italian region of Apulia, more precisely to Mount Gargano. There, a cave of very difficult access became a sacred place and saw the sanctuary of St. Michael the Archangel, begun in the distant year of 490. It marks the first appearance of the Archangel Michael to St. Lawrence of Majorca. 6. SYMI Convent Leaving Italy, the fascinating St. Michael's sacred line arrives at the sixth sanctuary, now on the Greek island of Simi. Here the monastery houses one of the largest effigies of the Archangel in the world, three meters high. 7. Monte Carmelo Monastery The sacred line ends in Israeli territory, the Mount Carmel Monastery in Haifa. The site has been revered since antiquity, but the construction of the Christian shrine dates back to the 12th century.